Hey, what is up everybody? It's Jimu here. Before we get to the video, I want to remind you, only 24.9% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider press subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of dark and dark content. Speaking of the content, recently me and Hana, we came up with the community server. Pretty much, I've been requested multiple hundreds of times to make a Discord server and the time has come. We're gonna have a Discord server, which link I'm gonna show in the description and uh, probably in the chat as well. And basically, if you're interested in a community Discord server, which also going to be based on trading aspect, that's basically where you can hop in, where you can sell your stuff, where you can quickly buy kits. Hana is into, you know, buying stuff and uh, pretty much um, you could just simply offer her gold and she will buy gear sets for your budget. That basically basically what she is really interested in. And basically this is what she does. And that's basically how I got to know her. <laughs> anyway, let's go back into today's video. So pretty much recently the Iron Maze has come out with the new change, a shadow patch for the shadow class, which is Rogue. Two perks in particular got changed. Stealth, you're no longer completely invisible. If you try to move around, you're going to be seen and creep. Even if you try to crouch, you're going to produce noise. So no more ambush, landmine, meta, cringe. It's gone. Hooray. I want to congratulate every single player in Dark and Darker including every single other rogue for these changes. I am a rogue main, I love this class. I played on this class more than I played on anything else, but I legitimately hate ambush meta, and that's why you haven't seen me play as much rogue as I would love to. But now that these two perks are changed, we are kind of back on track and we're gonna be playing a lot more rogue in the near future. Pretty much in today's video, we're going to be playing with the most OG, most skillful a build there is in the game for the rogue, and that is the combination of a weak point or cutthroat, if you'd like to use, with rupture. Poison, dagger mastery, thrust, jokester, everything that you see here will benefit your dagger, will give you stats, will give you extra damage, and just overall a beautiful build. So this is pretty much a combination of a mosquito build with uh, just you W King people, doing a little bit of damage and committing to a fight when you feel like it. You're going to be relying on your hang crossbow and on your fellow stiletto. So pretty much there is still another viable build that's going to be pretty good for the rogue. It's going to be pretty much the same thing, but you will be relying on ambush. I am genuinely happy that these two perks in particular got drastically nerfed. I think it's a really good thing that our mates listen to community and uh, nerf this rogue, but if anything, I'd rather have these two perks completely removed rather than changed, I mean, or nerfed. Like, just remove them and this class will become... Like, give something else, for God's sake. We don't need these perks, remove them and give Rogue something meaningful. Please, Iron Maze, do something right. Anyway, let's go back in today's video. So, pretty much for the build, we're gonna be trying to build a little bit of health, a little bit of action, a little bit of PDR. Most importantly, you try to keep an eye out on the move speed, you gotta have around... 315 plus, 320 more or less. Since I play with a budget kit, I usually don't go past certain points. As for the health, aim for around 125, 130 health, 320 move speed, 25, 30 action speed more or less. A physical damage reduction does nothing in particular, but if you get to have around 20, that's great. You can build up to all the way up to 30% if you pull throw on heavy leather leggings um, and marauder outfit because they in particular give a good chunk of armor. Where the fuck is my runner? Oh, here we go. You could see the number. It goes all the way up to 58, which is literally a northern full tunic. So anyway, I hope you got the whole idea of today's build with that we're going to be playing with. No more landmine bullshit. We're going to be running at people. We're going to skill checking them. We're going to show who is the real boss in the dungeon. We're going to gain advantage by poking them over and over again. Up until the point when we feel like we're gonna commit, we're gonna absolutely abuse the living fuck out of move speed on this beautiful class. This is no longer ambush garbage. This is the skill class. If you play on a rogue with this build in particular, well, you're pretty good. Anyway, let's go hop in the game and let's go clap some chicks on this beautiful new class that Iron Mace recently has come out with. Anyway, once again, congratulations to every single player. The ambush dog shit is nerfed. I'm really happy and I'm really glad to see this. Anyway. Okay, okay, we are in. Looks like we have a ranger here. Oh, mm, right. Gotta use a pod. Make sure we have all the house. Gotta be careful with this, this homie. 
Oh, that was nasty shot. I hit a trap. It fucking hurts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bro. <laughs> Gotta be kind of careful here. Okay. Let's heal up. Looks like there is another guy behind the door because the mobs got slightly angry. <laughs> Oh shit, door is open here. Okay, that's not good news. But we have a place to escape just in case. Oh, someone DM me on Discord. Okay, we're back. Mm, Kadokium. This warlock have um, wolf leggings. Looks like a full purple kit, more or less. Usually when you put on wolf leather leggings you don't really okay a little shot right here oh what the fuck he was actually closer than i thought he would but he doesn't understand he's actually throwing okay i hit him once yeah i need to practice on my rope skill he's like one shot by the way i hit him twice with my third attack lack of practice goddamn brother is like super low. Well, it's my first game, so it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't change the fact that we still gotta get better, you know what I mean? But listen, practice make it perfect, and we need a little bit of practice. Holy shit, brother! <laughs> Homie God sent from the reality. Alright, let's see what the homie has. Okie dokie. Not bad. Yeah, definitely not bad. We take that. Little bit of cheese, little bit of move speed. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. We take that. Alright, let's go to the middle and see if we can come across players. We're kind of full of loot though. We could just go and extract. But, you know. I don't really care too much about loot. I have way too much stuff already. So even if I die like fucking 10 times over. I should be fine. Yeah, I'm interested in fighting this warlock. He does fucking hurt a lot though. He looks like naked, but I feel like this is a complete bullshit. I think he just doesn't have a chest piece and a full kit. Because uh, he hits me way too fucking hard. Like he have plus fucking 6 magical damage or something. Because like one fucking curse did like 5th of my health. That is way too much. Okay, yeah, time to run him down. Fucking warlock. Hmm, looks like we have a bar here somewhere. Hope there is no traps. Okay, a little hit. Okay. What's his plan? I hit him. Nice. I could have stopped him twice, but I didn't want to stand in fire for too long. He should be a one dagger, maybe two daggers away from dying. Probably one. I missed! Unacceptable. GG. That was a headshot also somehow. Not bad. Gotta see what the homie has. I legit, I'm fucking 100% certain he had more than just, you know, <laughs> a cloak on. The homie was doing way too much damage. Alright, let's see what the homeboy has. I think he have, um... Oh, you piece of shit. Yeah, nah, he fucking brought in this. And looks like he killed the geared homie as well. I wish I could have more space. You can see, like, the he got gloves with knowledge. He got boots with move speed. He got pants with knowledge. He got additional magical damage raiding cloak. He got additional magical damage um, shadow mask. He got additional magical damage on necklace. Nah, the homie fucking came in for war, like legit. I really hope I don't get fucking landmine here. <laughs> Still fucking paranoid. Hating those fucking ambush rocks. Anyway, not a bad game. 
Oh, shit. Look, we have a ranger with the legendary mask. Gold. Mm, pretty, pretty. Oh, yeah. I'm so down to kill this homie. 100%. This barb is so interested in me. He's getting hit by ranger, but he's like, nope. I want to fucking go kill that rogue. <laughs> okay. Looks like they're fighting or something. I'm so interested to kill this ranger. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he have fucking traps down because it's fucking ranger. You know, the usual. Oh yeah, the head was a rupture. Probably like a quarter of his health, more or less. Okay, so I would assume they're gonna start fighting right now. I will circle around. And hopefully, ideally, I'd get to um, come across a ranger. I may, in theory, actually be able to um, backstab the ranger, but we'll see. Because I'm pretty sure the barb is going to fucking just big time chili. I want to break this just in case so I'll be able to pass. I hope there's no fucking traps here. Okay. Oh yeah, that fucking hurts. Holy fucking ranger, bro. They nerf trokes, it's time to nerf rangers. Iron Mace, nerf rangers. Nice. I hurt him a little. Oh, looks like Barb is interested in fighting. Okay. Looks like they're onto something. The Barb stepping into the trap. Haha. <laughs> sure. I gotta get this fucking guy. Fucking hell. It's okay, I still have plenty of throwing knives. I feel like he's one, maybe two throwing knife away from dying. Oh, fuck yeah. This shit makes me happy. Every ranger that I kill, like legit, gives me a little bit of warmth, you know? A little bit of joy. It's like... It's like, you know, you get that little bit of satisfaction when you're, you know, you just unreasonably makes you happy. Ha! <laughs> Why are you teaming? Why are you teaming? Let's see what the homie has, by the way. Here we go. He got some cheese. Nice. You got a full kit, we might as well go and extract, you know what I mean? What is there else to get? We're full on cheese. Yeah, so let's just go to the closest static and extract. Alright. The barb is still alive? Wait, what? I thought he died to a trap. Did he not? Oh shit, I remember this guy. I came across him like fucking five times already when I was playing on that class. It's kind of funny. Hmm. Interesting. Who do we have here? Looks like we have a wizard. We have a guy to our right, we have a guy to our left. What? What the fuck was that? <laughs> was he talking to me? Oh, fuck. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I'm in a fucking shrine. Oh, well. 
The guy was like, there is a guy behind you, Demo. <laughs> what the fuck with that shit? Looks like we have another guy here. Got to be careful. Oh shit, we got a barb. Huh? Remember when it was me, Steezy, and Zarface? Yeah, I remember that. It was good time, brother. <laughs> Yo, what's good, man? I thought it was an actual joke, I'm not gonna lie. No, no, no. Some ass other guy. No, no, no. <laughs> What's good, brother? I'm kind, of, I'm kind of like sunstuck right now, I'm not gonna lie. God damn. You're a Jesus, like legit right here. Yeah, I play with weak point and rupture, just no hide. No cutthroat? Um, no, no, just weak point and uh, rupture. Don't fall down, you you might squeeze in through the elevator, bro. Uh -huh. oh, That's kind of pretty, you know? <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go to the mid room and... Oh shit, there is a barb. Okay. Mm I love fighting barbs. That's like a very good practice. It's like you mess up, you sleep up, you die. <laughs> but. Oh, homie fell down. I missed! Unacceptable. Okay, we just control. Alright, okay, so you didn't jump on me. So you would jump, dive directly. <laughs> you didn't. Oh, we're just gonna kite around a little bit. We gotta land like two, three um, hand crossbow shots. And then, oh, that's actually good for us. He wasted his Achilles. All right, we're just gonna back up a little. <laughs> We're winning trade so far. We're just gonna heal up. So far, the trades like this are very good for us. Okay. All right. Let's see what's his next move gonna be. I'm almost full HP, so... I do have to be very careful when it comes to fighting Achilles Strike, but Dish plus Achilles Strike is a very deadly combo. He used his Rage, I'm not sure what's the point of that, but uh, it is what it is. We're just gonna pop another heal real quick. Little headshot. Maybe not a headshot. <laughs> I don't see where the air went. Ah, shit, I didn't mean to fall down. I get. To, oh, actually, I was able to climb up without falling down. That's nice. He thought he would be able to pick me up from stairs. No oh, body shot with the third hit. He probably could be at like half health. Okay, that was a headshot. Oh, yeah, he's not feeling it, bro. He missed it. We're gonna do a couple fakes. That was another headshot. I missed it. It's okay. Okay, well, body shot, pretty good, he is bleeding, I think he has like maybe two still at hits, we can just fully commit, I honestly, I mean, we don't, we don't need to fully commit, but uh, let's do it anyway, yeah, he headshotted me, that hurt a little, <laughs> oh, okay, 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 chill the fuck down, okay, brother, why well, you gotta do me like that, fucking Ebola goblin? Ebola goblin. Alright, minus Ebola. And then we just gotta deal with the Narcher guy. Alright, we're good to go. Not bad. Legit a full replacement. I kinda wanna take that Legendary Bardish, cause uh, Legendary Bardish is like 700 gold on market. The Legendary Bardish is really where it fucking slaps, you know what I mean? The purple is not it. But the legendary is where the Bardish becomes a big fucking threat to literally any target. Doesn't matter if you're PDR, if you are fucking other barbs or whatever class you are. Bardish fucking slap, it's really a good weapon. And the thing is, I was told a number of times, what do I think about the Halberd? And I don't know what to say, but I legit don't like the attack animation. I absolutely love Bardish, but I genuinely hate um, Halberd. I just don't think it's good. Like... I had a, a discussion with a good friend of mine about the longsword. Basically, he was talking about the sore spot. And the thing is, 
it doesn't matter what the source part of a weapon if it's um, have a good range and it's very convenient to use. It's really important to be able to land those hits and even if the weapon does more damage but you can't land a single fucking attack, I mean, it's just not a good weapon but if it's a um, convenient weapon to use like Bertish or like Longsword, hell yeah. You gotta land those hits and that's when the weapon, you know, becomes a good weapon, you know what I mean. There have been so many good players in this lobby and only was able to find one barb. I have no fucking idea where's anyone at, so let's just go into the next game. God damn, brother, the whole lobby is geared. Jesus Christ, bro. We got a geared warlock, we got a geared rogue. If I get to fight the warlock, I feel like it's gonna be a free kill. But if I fight this rogue, this guy probably could two shot me. We have to be super careful with this guy. Also, I don't have rapier, and the rapier under rogue is actually such a good weapon, especially if you get to land those hits from a good position, you know what I mean. Okay, we have a guy here. I range him. Probably have traps. No, he's naked. Let him be. No, 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 brother. It's okay. No need. You can go heal up. It's all good. No, 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 no. No need to shoot, brother. It's all good. You can just go and heal up. Looks like he doesn't understand. Ah, it's fine, whatever. I think he's a new player. Bro. No. Oh shit, we have a guy here. Oh man. I refuse to kill this naked clueless homie. <laughs> I think the naked clueless homie gonna die to the warlock. But oh well. He died to a flame wolf. <laughs> Bro, the whole- oh wait, did the warlock also die? The warlock also died, by the way. One, two, three. I mean, listen, I have no fucking idea what am I supposed to say here. GG, I guess? The homie just decided to fucking die? Okay, I guess it is what it is. He'd be like, oh hey man, how about I give this rope free gear, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm down. I don't win on rogue too often, so, you know, this gear is gonna go into the font of my next gear set. <laughs> ah, shut. Okay, good enough. We have to be careful here. Okay, that's not very good. He hit me through the door! But how did he... Oh, wow. Double Franny plus uh, one Dwight hit. Fucking burst like a bitch. I'm in a, such a not a good position because the homie doesn't have a chest piece. Oh, also we have a fucking wizard. <laughs> I was fighting this guy early on, but um, holy fuck, he's annoying. So I'm not sure who should I kill first, the barb or the wizard. If I kill the barb... I may not have enough resources to deal with the Withered, and if I kill Withered, I'm probably gonna be too low to deal with the Barb. Okay, that one little hit hurt him a little, so that's actually good for us. Now, oh, now, beautiful, we have also Withered. <laughs> Body block right here. Yeah, you stay there. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, let's go heal up, and let's go back and fight them again. The Barb was so fucking committed. To kill me, he's like, oh shit, that's Primo. I'm almost 100% certain he fucking knows who he's dealing with. That's why he's so fucking invested to kill me. We don't have creep, but we still can crouch around for a little bit, you know what I mean? Looks like we have a barb and a wizard. Let's kill wizard. He could... Holy fuck, this hurts a lot. Okay. Barb went up, and he's probably on me right now. I'm not sure if you saw that I got blasted, but if I get to heal up, I'd get to fight the homie. As long as I don't get pushed down, yeah, yeah, he's legit on my dick, bro. My <laughs> homie's not giving me a break. Okay, he threw a fucking torch. I thought I would be able to pre-fire him. I wasn't. 
Maybe I'd be too ill to get on elevator and heal up. But I still want to fight the bard to the death. Okay. Homie's taking shortcuts. Little headshot throw. Ah, fucking was a little late. It's okay. Let's use a pot. Keep healing up, circling around the pillars. The time is on our side. We're doing pretty good here. Not sure, maybe I should throw my chest piece. He threw a torch at me. He's gonna break the door. Nope, he's not breaking the door. Sure, I'm gonna open this door instead then. I'm a rock at the end of the day. Alright, he's run back. Just gonna pop the potion. I'd rather just rock around the middle, honestly, and then fight him here than somewhere else. It's a very open area. Okay. The homie have Achilles. Yes, I like your content, bro. <laughs> well, thank you, brother. I really do appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, the sign of respect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. That is that enough of respect? I think that's that should be plenty. You know, gotta gotta be respectful. You know what I mean. I'm gonna be honest. When a naked barbarian runs at you, that's legit kind of fucking stressful because the naked barb has nothing to lose, but he can kill you in two hits. <laughs> yes, but uh, anyway, well, let's check this fucking wizard. Oh, the homie was uh, fucking resourcefulness broke. I'm not exactly sure how does their stosolness works on um, wizard. Let me know if it's good, but um, I have came across so many uh, builds like that. I'm not sure. Do they cast fast or do they get something? Like, what is the point of resourcefulness build on a wizard? But they're so fucking common. Holy fuck! Oh well, there's gonna be so much stuff thrown on the floor that I can pick up. God damn, birthday. What the fuck was that? Wizard. Mm, nothing crazy. Mm, bunch of true. Nothing crazy either. BBC Warlock was the um, Phantom Eyes. Bunch of magical damage. And legendary sword. I respect that. <laughs> I mean, you still gotta run at people with that. So usually if you spawn in a prison, you get to choose if you want to go to the middle room. It looks like no one spawned here, but there is another spawn to my left. And um, basically, we're gonna go and check it out. It's gonna be one that's gonna be at Norse. Oh, but wait, the dead spider. Oh, the barbarian. So maybe he did spawn there. And I just missed the spawn. Looks like he is in the cyclops room. Um, one, two, three, four, choo -choo. We have another guy. Unless that was the skeleton. The champion skill. Hmm. Someone definitely was here. You have to be careful. Maybe a new player or something. Oh yeah, looks like a new player. I'm not gonna attack your brother, don't worry. I'm just gonna pass by. No, 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 just just go, just go, just go. If you wanna fight, you will die, bro. You will die. I don't wanna kill you. I don't wanna kill you, brother. I don't wanna kill you, my homie. Yeah, you know what? Holy fucking shit, bro. That does so much damage. Jesus Christ, no. I fucking underestimated the amount of damage he's going to shout. Holy fucking hell. <laughs> it's like, you know, fuck around and find out. And basically, I fucked around and almost died. But I do run very budget gear. Like, my current gear set is like two and a half thousand. Like, super, super budget. Alright, so there's door open to the right, door open to the left. Goblin mage killed the guy. There is a goblin mage to the left and goblin mage to the right. Let's go to the right. We might come across some players. The goblin mage gonna be right by the hill shrine to our left. So that's where we can come across. Gotta be careful with traps. Oh, yeah, that's the ranger. Oh, fuck it. Gotta use the blue potion. 
dodge a couple of hits. Let's use ways. We don't want to get hit by that thing. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Let's quickly use the hill shrine. Looks like he killed two other players here. Well, he killed at least one player. And the goblin... No way, he actually didn't kill nobody. No, 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 he didn't. So the um, rogue killed the guy. And then the goblin mage killed the rogue. Holy fuck, this homie got a lot of cheese, brother. Goddamn. Oh my god, the thing is, the throwing daggers, they cost like fucking 100 a piece, so... They're also quite expensive. Mm. Oh wait, I just heard something. Oh shit, fucking hell, bro. I scared... <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me, legit the... Big... Oh god, good lord. Nice. The homie is pretty good. There is like at least 5,000 on the floor that I can't pick up because I just don't have space and I have no fucking idea what to do. I want to take the Cloak of Darkness, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit that. You know what I mean? Damn. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, probably going to take the Mystic. It's a good piece, looks like. The rest, the thing is, the rest of the stuff I could use myself. No, oh, looks like we have a guy here. You know, is it you, bro? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Yo, what's good, brother? Yo, I love this video every day, bro. Hey. Yo. All right, listen, come here, come, 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 come here. Take, take this. Take this. No there way, is a. You, bro. I yeah, it's me. It's me. Hell yeah. Dude, it is you. Too much stuff. I've been trying to figure out what I want to take. Take the cloak of darknesses. Both like should yeah. be eight hundred gold. Um, tater cloak. Yeah, just take everything straight up. So I wasn't sure okay. what, but I'm already full on loot. So yeah. Dude, are you are making a video right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, what? Bro, it's easy. Take everything. Take everything. For the video? Uh, no, 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 no. I run this. Here. Like the double, uh, the weakness plus rupture. You, you take everything, oh, we ain't got much time. Okay, <laughs> okay. And let me pass, goddammit, you're too huge. <laughs> Dude, I'm like a huge fan, I watch your videos every day, there's no way, bro. Really? Hell yeah, brother. Alright, let me pass, I gotta go extract. <laughs> take, the, so there is one corpse right here, and there is also one corpse right here as well, yeah. if you still have some space. Wait, is elevator here? Should be, yeah. It is, it is here. It is, yeah. We should make it. Hell yeah, brother. Let's no go. I love you too, man. I'm happy I, I met you, you know. Good. This whole lobby is crazy, brother. Holy fuck. So much gear, people. I'm That's insane. People I haven't come across anyone yet, but um, there we have another place spawn right here to our left. And then we have one all the way down to the west. Oh wait, there is a guy who just killed another guy with the um, Sovereign Blade. Yeah, now that's fucking expensive. That's like five to seven thousand gold to market, I believe. That's the guy. Okay. The homie is geared, by the way, so I have to be careful. I'm not allowed to fight him when he have uh, BBC on, because I would end up getting fucked. Okay. Kill this thing a little quick. With the shrine, be able to be a little faster, so actually could be a nice little bonus. I don't remember when the um, shrine was giving you insane boost in most bit, but now it barely does anything. But you know what? It's still a thing. Did the guy by any chance fucking use the um, invisible potion? That's why I'm trying to figure out. Maybe he fucking just legit used the blue pot and just sitting here. <laughs> waiting for a poor target to come by. You know why I don't want to chase him because you never know when he's gonna be sitting and if you come across and he just pops the BOC you die. Because I believe the ghost blade with the BBC will hit so freaking hard that's ridiculous. Like 100 plus damage per hit and then you hit him once and then you got damage back and then you just die into his. So yeah, that's very terrifying. 
Mm, kind of surprised. Actually, we have one guy here. I'd be down to fight this guy as well. He is also very good. Ow. That fucking hurts. I'm only down to fight him when I shoot him twice with my crossbow. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that was a, like an arm hit or something. No. The homie kind of owning me. Oh, that was good damage here. We have blue bandages, so we will be able to bandage up. The prices on blue bandages right now are fucking like 100 gold above. Fucking <laughs> super expensive. Maybe you get to have a free hit here. Nice. No, we fucking missed, bro. So it's gonna be a free shot. Nice. Two hits down. But if he used a better quality uh, potion, probably that would do zero damage to him. Alright, we're gonna be full HP. Where the fuck did that throw a knife went, by the way? The warlock right there to our right, so I would assume he's gonna start fighting with the spider and then we could try to start fighting the homie. Thing is, they both are geared and this guy, the fighter is... Wait, the fighter is really dead by the way. The fighter is also geared. We have a cleric to our right, a warlock to our left. Okay. And this... Fuck. I would assume he got hit a couple of times. Let's fight him like he has full HP, you know what I mean? Let's think that he is full health and that, um... Holy fuck, those spins. Gotta please link a couple of those. Okay, that did some damage. Okay, that did some damage too. Have a rug on, so my hits do a lot of damage. Okay, maybe I get to land a good hit with the rupture. I don't want to take no chances to lose here because um, he has too much on. Okay, he popped the BOC, that's good for us. So he's gonna be pushing us. We're gonna do a little jump here. He fucked up the jump and stepped in the trap. Okay, he's running back. Okay, so he could either... Yeah, he's going to the troll's room. I mean... To the mid room. He didn't close the door, but there is no door. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go circle around and he's gonna use the elevator. If he decides to open the door, well, I could boost him. I have a guy to our left. Okay. <laughs> go rogue, go. Okay, he went left. Let's walk around and uh, maybe we get to catch him. Because I do believe he is very fucking hurt. I do believe he also got smacked by Cleric as well. He probably could have gone to use Shrine here to right. No, he's still fucking there. Using Blue Potion. He has BOC, you don't fight BOC on, you walk away from it. We gotta wait until it's over, and then we gotta go back at him. He hit the fucking box, not sure why. None of my business. But the fact he does have a BOC on is good for us. Okay. Good for us, GG. I'm not sure why I did my shield was still on after the hit. Like, the attack bypassed the shield, and I don't understand why. But anyway, GG. Oh yeah, the homie is the juicer. That blade is like 7k gold on market right now. That's good for us. We gotta pop surgical kit really quick, gotta make sure we are full HP. And then we just, I guess, gonna go extract. What else is there to do? Ah oh, man, fucking withered. <laughs> do I really care that much about the Sovereign Blade? Not necessarily, but that's like 7k gold, and 7k gold is like 2 kits. 
that I currently have on. Oh shit, that hurts a lot. Okay, we gotta actually put a pressure. We can't just start running away. Because he would be on my toes. Okay, he wasted a bunch of those. He used magic missiles. Perfect opportunity to run the fuck away from here. <laughs> no, I think we're in good position because on the right side we had doors open so we can just run there. That's actually good for us. As long as I don't get landmine here, I should be absolutely fine. Okay. Yep, we got a door open here. Yeah, looks like he's still very invested. But you know what? Let's not be a greedy bitch and let's just go extract. Yeah, not a bad game. That was pretty, pretty good. Alright everybody, so pretty much I want to conclude today's episode. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really enjoy playing on the Rogue. It's a really good fucking class now. No more landmine, no more ambush, no more bullshit where you have to be scared of every single shadow in the game. I love that. Like, you know, you're still gonna get landmine. There's still gonna be rogues that are really into, you know, looking for that, you know, perfect opportunity to landmine. And they will find that perfect opportunity to landmine. That is still viable. It's gonna be harder, but it's still viable. Thing is, the rogue in my eyes didn't get nerfed. It got buffed. And I'll explain you why. The um, problem with the rogue is that as the rogue, you don't really get to have that much health. And because you don't really get to have that much health, pretty much you are scared of other rogues more than you are scared of any other class. And if you get landmine, pretty much you just get a race. So even though you get a slightly less opportunity to landmine other classes, you're gonna have a more fair ground when it comes to fighting other rogues. And which makes this class a better class. Even though the rogue got nerfed, like basically on practice you could see. In reality, in reality, the rogue is the much, much better class now. As the rogue, you can build to be able to kill every single class in the game. Doesn't matter if it's a barb, fighter, PDR fighter, warlock, demon warlock, fucking druid, whatever. You can kill every single class because everything you have is damage. And if you focus on doing damage, on winning trades, if you focus on the game knowledge, you will be able to actually do a lot better right now than you could before. Because before, the fucking landmine meta would just erase you from existence if you make one wrong step. Or if you come across a guy who's been sitting in a fucking bush for 20 hours straight. Right now, the rogue is a better class. It was um, A in my eyes. Right now is S minus in my eyes. It's a much better class now. No more creep, no more ambush. It's all about your skill. It's all about your performance. It's all about the outplay. And the outplay potential that the rogue has is huge. It's a really good class. I love playing Rogue. We're going to be playing on a Rogue a lot more. We're going to also try the combination of a Rupture plus the Ambush in the near future with the Height. And we're going to use it mainly um, to be able to, um, you know, use it mid-fight. Like, not to ambush people, but commit to a fight and try, you know, to see what we could do with it. Because I do believe the 10% move speed plus and 50% physical damage bonus on your first hit could actually be huge. And that's basically just going to buff your rupture by a lot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really love playing Rogue. Holy fuck. This made me actually want to play more on the Rogue than, you know, when the when it was in meta. You know what I mean? The meta got erased, but the class got better. Holy fuck. That's incredible. Like, I haven't been winning so much on the Rogue than, you know, in the previous session that I've played. Because I'm so sick and tired of the fucking invisible landmine bullshit that just doesn't give you, like, no counterplay. And now that it's gone, it's just such a better fucking class. Anyway, it's Demo. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in a dungeon. Peace out. Congratulations to everybody, and congratulations to all the active rogue rogues out there who are interested in more active playstyle.